I need fantasy stories geared towards adults with the aesthetics and whimsy of books for children. Not everything needs to be gritty and realistic, especially magic escapism. You know, they got a point here. You wouldn't pirate a- I would steal anything from any company. Anything in the world. I don't even want it. I just hate you. Just saw an only one bed fic with a major character death warning. Oh, I guess that's one way to solve that problem. This bed ain't big enough for the both of us. In my mind, it's always girls and cars and sun and sand and bitch and tones and pizza party pool parties. But then there's the evil flaming skull. I'm sorry, is this the Barbie movie plot? I'm pretty sure it is. My cats have this meow that means, please come with me to fix this, after which they'll lead me to the problem in question. Usually an empty or empty food bowl or a closed door that won't open. They look at the problem. They look back at me. Clear message. What fascinates me is how this illustrates what they perceive as being in the realm of my power. I control the food. I control the door. Sure. But my cats love to sit on the balcony in the sun and it has happened plenty of times that on a rainy day, they come get me, go to the balcony, and show me the rain. Please fix this, they say. Please get rid of the wet. <laughs> Silly kitty, I say. I can't control the rain. And then I walk into the shower and turn on the rain. Telling a joke to a classroom. What does the cowboy cat say? Kitty up? Meow. What the fuck did you just say? Will you... Were you just funnier than me? I need the internet to start being kind to get Hold up. When? When has the internet been kind? How do people who don't do art have fun? Do you stare into space? Do you eat dirt? Do you open a portal to hell? I'm confused by non-artists. If I weren't an artist, I'm pretty sure opening a portal to hell would be a close second, you know. I don't know, I can't win right now. I'm pretty sure... Non-artists go hiking, yes? If it's hiking, like, God, it's so scrap. I love when evil aristocrat characters have evil forms of address. Your royal lowness, your disgrace, your dishonor, your unholy majesty. Prime Minister! Did you, did you just kick down your own door? Listen, I was in a hurry. Hey, what's that noise I heard on my walk to the dorm bathroom last night? Just Greg. Be glad it wasn't unjust, Greg. I apologize for the bees. I haven't slept in 24 hours, and the bones are approaching. This is the most Dark Souls line I've ever heard on this goddamn website. Oh, there he is. The bear in area. His arrival was foretold in ancient murals. Mm. Executive dysfunction is literally like, oh, I've had a random dollar on my floor for two weeks, and I don't know when I'll fit it in my schedule to pick it up. People don't realize this. Depressed necromancers be like, surely summoning many ghouls would improve this situation, right? Moloch go to therapy. No! The ghouls! Die. What? A gay person? On this site? On the gay site? On the site specifically filled with gay people? This site? How gay is he? This page? Gay place? Especially in populated areas? Where? Where's this gay person? Uh, are, are they single? Are, can I... Can I kiss them? 